God, not his father. It's okay. It's a, we're all here. We're all here. There is a reason why it's women and children first in line. And that's because their their life matters. And if you talk about 100 women dying, people give a shit. If you talk about 100 men dying, it's happening right now in Ukraine. No bloody kids. Anymore. And that's just the reality of the world as a man. As a man, your life is not important. That's life. So all I have to say is before I get started, you guys, if you don't know who I am, my name's Taylor. It's Tay Tay Baby on YouTube. I advocate for men and men's mental health. And the reason why I do this is because of videos like this. I like to shed light on things that people don't look at. You guys only look at the woman's lens and you never look at the man's lens. And I'm sorry, men matter just as much as women do. And I hate the way society portrays men, especially good ones at that. They make it seem as if there's nothing but shitty men in this entire world and there's no good men that exist. And this is a perfect example. You mean to tell me that this woman was sitting there this entire time probably telling this guy that is your child, probably having this man buy this fake ass baby gifts, buy this fake ass baby, all this stuff. And the reason why I'm saying fake ass baby is because it wasn't his child to begin with. But you know what's more effed up? The fact that she knew that the whole time and still tried to pretend it was his kid. We know women. We know women are conniving, manipulative, and vindictive. And this is not all women. If this strikes a nerve, that must be you, ladies. Because if somebody's talking crap about women, I don't put myself in that category because I know how I ride. I know how I rock. I know how I am as a woman. But with that being said, why is everybody sitting there going, oh, baby, baby, oh, my God, baby, oh, no, honey. Why are we looking at her as if she's the one who has the trauma and she's just so hurt? She knew what she was doing. You knew damn well opening your legs, well, being with somebody is wrong. Since the dawn of time, we as women have known to keep our bodies sacred to our partner and ourselves. So when you guys act promiscuous and like putitas, you can't act oblivious anymore. I'm not buying it. I am a very empathetic person. You guys don't know me from nowhere. Just because you see me on social media clapping back and you know I might seem aggressive, masculine, whatever. I'm a very empathetic person. And if I see a woman crying or I see somebody in shambles, I am going to help you with everything that I got, man or woman. I don't care. But I do not help people who are dumb as hell. I don't help delusion. Because the fact that you sat there, knew the entire time that that was not his child, strung that man along and waited till this very moment to embarrass him in front of the whole world, knowing this was going to be on TV, knowing you were going to put him on a show or whatever the fuck this is. You could have let this man know. You could have just been straight up and honest. And now that you're caught red handed, blood on your hands, you can't even say you're sorry. You want to pull the crocodile tears. And I say crocodile tears because... What did that man do to deserve that? What do you think that man's mental health is going to be like now? Do you ladies think of this? This is the exact reason why men do not want to be with promiscuous women. This is why men like being with women who haven't had a lot of bodies. And it's not all men we know this. But this is one of the reasons why. Because if we sleep around, you will not know who the father is until the very end. And that is actually very sad. I personally don't feel like women should be throwing themselves around, letting men insert themselves inside them. Especially when you got a man. Especially when you say you're devoted to a person. Shit like this bothers me to my core, you guys, because cheating is one thing, you know, finding something out from your partner is one thing. But knowing that a child you planned and set out for is not yours, that's like having somebody rip the ground right up from underneath you. Y'all, what if this man didn't have family? What if this man didn't have a father? What if this man didn't have anything? What if this man was going to name his baby Junior? What if this man planned his whole life around this woman and child and finally thought this is going to be the, the it for me. This is going to be my, my chance to have a family. And you mean to tell me this vindictive woman does this and she gets to cry? She gets to have people sympathize with her? I'm not sympathizing with her. I don't even feel bad. Those tears don't fool me. The only person I'm looking at right now that deserves a fucking hug is that man. Why isn't anybody asking him, is he okay? Why isn't anybody asking the man if he's fine? Because again, time and time again, I tell you guys this, but nobody believes me. Make people treat men like shit. People don't give a fuck about men. The only time you guys care about men is if they're doing something for you, if they have value for you, or if they're giving you money. And that is actually sad. And this 
It does not go for all women. Because I know there's going to be women in the comments going crazy. Like I said, ladies, if this doesn't fucking correlate with you, shut the hell up. <laughs> I love y'all, but Jesus Christ, y'all so annoying in the comments. I'm not understanding why women will literally string along somebody the entire time when you could have just been honest from the jump. But wait, we all know, bitches. Y'all bitches are allergic to accountability. Y'all allergic to being honest. I think that it's so devastating the way the world is set up and social media is making it even worse. The man hating, the oh, all men are pervs, all men are this. Like, look at the way y'all portray men, men so bad. So when men actually go through things, y'all don't give a fuck. Do you know how many times I hear women say, oh, man cries and they're disgusted? What's disgusting about a human being crying? What's disgusting about a man being sad, being depressed, going through things? He's not a robot, bro. He he has feelings. He matters. What what? What is, oh my God, you guys, this makes me so emotional because women want everybody to care about them, but y'all won't care about other people. What you put out into this world is what you're going to get back, y'all. You want men to care about you. You want men to look at you like a human being and not an object, but then y'all got, you guys treat men shittier. It doesn't make any sense. Lead with love, not hate. And I'm sorry, y'all, to be going on a tangent, but like videos like this really bother me because I would like to know what happened to this man next. I want to know how his mental health is doing next. Because now this man probably not is not going to be able to trust another woman. The next woman he gets with, he's going to want a DNA test. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't care what anybody says. I feel like DNA tests matter. I think that DNA tests should be mandatory at birth because of women like this. And if you're one of those women saying, oh, that's disgusting, he shouldn't this, then maybe you're the one sucking pee-pee every day, bitch. Because if my partner asked me for a DNA test, cool. I understand that you might have bitches, you know, put that... On your mindset, I understand that you might have trust issues, but because I know what kind of bitch I am and I know I'm a ride or die, I'll do the DNA test. There's, I have nothing to hide. I'm not a promiscuous woman. I'm not a hoe. I don't cheat. That's one thing I can say about myself that I've never, ever done and I never will do. No man could ever say they did something to me while I was in a relationship and it will never fucking happen. I represent my partner and I will never embarrass my partner. So ladies, take notes. I'm not trying to act like I'm perfect. But I've never cheated and I never will. And I definitely never had another man's baby that wasn't his and strung him along and put him on a fucking show knowing I opened up my legs. That's sick. You knew that you were opening your legs this whole time. You were probably letting this man buy you food, buy you all these things while you were pregnant. And he probably supplied that baby with diapers and all that stuff. That man does not get that time back. That man does not get his money back. That man does not get his sanity back. Y'all want to talk about, oh, men put us through all this trauma. But men go through trauma just as much as y'all. Men get heartbroken just as much as y'all. Men get backstabbed too, you guys. It really bothers me. And I know you guys are going to take this. You're aggressive. You're masculine. It's called passionate. It's called I give a fuck. It's called I'm surrounded by brothers. I have nothing but good brothers in my life. And it's so sad to see women move this way. It's scary. One day I'm going to have a child. And this is one of my biggest fears to have my kids off themselves because of some dumb bimbo bitch. I don't know, y'all. Take this however you want. But I am so tired of women like this because it's so it's sad, you guys. Like, where are we getting at in this world? Stay single. Ladies, I have no problem with y'all being promiscuous. It's your life. If you want to be ready to eat and have bubbles all over your starburst, that's your business. But I think it's fucked up to string along somebody who probably loves you more than you ever loved yourself just to fuck them over. Just to be like, mm, you know what? And y'all don't, you're careless with your movements. You don't give a shit. You should give a shit. Ponte trucha. ¿Qué te pasa, mija? You should care about how you move. I, for a fact, have tried... Being the best person that I can be, going to therapy, taking anger management, stop drinking. I did a lot of things to change my life, you guys, because I hated the person I used to be. And you know what's sad? I look at my past and it doesn't bother me. It just makes me want to be better and strive for better. And the one thing I don't want to do anymore is be toxic or treat my partner less than or make him feel unvalued. So ladies, I promise you. Take the time to heal, stay fucking alone, or be promiscuous and do what you got to do. Because there's no point of stringing men along, especially with their mental health being compromised the way that it, do it is right now. Men's mental health matters, y'all. You guys don't give a fuck, but I fucking do.